What's up guys? Min Bagani Kamal and Sahun. I am Purple Lotus Samsara. Thank you for tuning into my channel. We are here at Pumaili Beach, also known as King's Landing on the Big Island. Check it out. It's a beautiful morning. It's probably about 7.30 right now. And this beach here is located, it's a good fishing spot. There were some guys earlier on this cliff on the other side uh, throwing some net, fishing net, which is very common here at this spot. This is located at the end of the uh, beach road, four miles beach road. If you ask any of the locals, if you ever visit, there's a string of beaches along this stretch of road that is probably four miles. There's no actual origin of where that term came from. But this place here is called King's Landing or Pumaili Beach, as the locals call it here. And back in the 1930s, back in the 1930s, it was a hospital, I think before that, and supposedly um, got washed away by one of the tsunamis. And uh, there's like, it's supposedly haunted. You know, there's a tale, so many places here that has some kind of haunted tale. So along this stretch here, um, way later on in the future, about 25 years ago, it was like a sovereign uh, spot where uh, people were kind of just squatting, like a lot of sovereign activists uh, for the uh, movement, you know, it's sovereign nation. And they uh, ended up cleaning this place out and now it's public access you know people were complaining you know they they couldn't come in here and just hang out like i am right now uh people were kind of like just going a little bit too overboard with that back in this was like in the early 90s you know about 25 years ago i think so it's an early morning so nobody's here if you come here on a typical weekday um, in the middle of the day, there's a few people here. People come out here to eat lunch and things like that. On the weekend, it gets pretty packed. The county will come down here and um, clean out the trash cans and kind of like make sure, you know, things don't get out of hand. So there's a little fire going on down um, behind this car earlier. Parking area down there. See if I can walk a little bit. Walking all the way to the other side is pretty much like walking here. So this here is at the very end of that four miles road. At the very end, you can turn around. There's a spot where just like a you know dead end where you turn around, you just make a right and you can drive in. Actually, way behind here, like you can drive behind there and I when I was a kid um, we went fishing my dad and my uncle and one of my friends uh, overnight for a couple of days and you can drive pretty well far in there I don't know exactly what it's called but there's a nice little fishing spot where you can catch some pretty good fish uh, it's uh, actually gated so you need a, a key from the owner or you need permission for them to come and let you in a nice beach it's a little overcast early in the morning give you guys a a look at one of the places along this stretch of beach along that stretch of road you're gonna come to beaches like uh, Onikahakaha this is a, a the, one of the most popular kids beach in all of Hilo everybody grows up there really small um, uh, water you know it's like knee high maybe I mean a little bit more waist high maybe if you're lucky uh, there's Four Miles Beach with Isaac uh, Isaac Hill. Oh no, that's uh, James Kealoha Beach Park. Isaac Hill is in Pohiki and Puna. James Kealoha Beach Park. Um, along that stretch, there's Lele Ivy. Then there's like a uh, Bear Balls, a Cold Pond, uh, Break Wall. Where well, you can't really swim there. Good fishing spot. All along this area, on that uh, that beach road. So you come from the airport. Also, maybe. 
not even five minutes maybe seven minutes from the airport right before you uh, it starts off with the ice pond passing ponds hilo cafe if you're a tourist or a would-be visitor you can look at this beach road and it's the most popular one in hilo because there's so many spots you can find there's a few more actually that i didn't mention that you can uh Lala Kea, that's one behind that uh, one hotel. Um, you can ask the locals. It's a really, really cold pond, like super cold water. So help you guys, tourists, whatever you're looking for. So one more time, quick video. I like to kind of make these on the whim. So like I like to just shoot from the hip when I talk about places in Hilo because I just carry my camera and I have a little bit of time. I don't do a lot of research. Like when I'm in India and traveling, I do a lot of research. Just give you guys a quick visual and way down there you can go and uh, fish you can bring your fishing pole you can bring your net you know you can bring your spear sometimes guys going out there are they picking opihis people actually die doing that a lot out here like to eat that the delicacy if you guys uh look that up too it's o-p-i-h-i -I for the uh, foreigner from here opihi So Pumaili Beach, King's Landing, Big Island, Hilo, Hawaii. Now you got a quick look, at least you know a little bit of what it looks like and a small brief history. You guys have a great day. Tell your friends to subscribe, pay it forward, feed a child, change the world. Purple Lotus Samsara, out.